What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamacy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install the Diablo 2 Randomizer mod by Mapron. So, I talked a little bit about it in another video that should be right, I'd probably the one before this on the channel, uh, but I want to go ahead and describe the installation for it because it is pretty easy, but some people still have questions and run into issues, and so we're going to show it. So, uh, basically, right here, I will put these links in the description below, but you can go to this main page here, or you can go right here to the releases, and uh, you can download the latest release. Just download the zip, and then you will extract said zip, right? Here is that, and you'll just do extract, and then you'll have it right there, and you'll open it up, and it will have all of these. You will run the mod gen application application and that will bring up this right here now there are instructions on this front page that kind of goes through a quick start um, for how you want to set this all up uh, but basically when you run this you'll just make sure that this path has your d2r path in it mine didn't have it when it was there so I had to go ahead and go in and just install that, uh, not install it, but just like find the installation. It's usually right here and put it in. Um, then wherever your saves uh, as well is, and it will save into a separate little folder within it, I believe. Um, you can push this copy settings.json. This will just copy over like your hotkeys and all of the stuff from your current uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected into the mod. And then this is going to be the arguments that you will have on your battle.net. So if we go to game settings, you can see this is just right here for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, and you can click one of these buttons to do it as well. Reset launch to unmodded. Set launch to mod. If you just close your battle.net and click that, it'll automatically adjust the settings. And you can also make a shortcut on your desktop that will have that settings right there as well. Uh, here's a random seed. You can always change this for just your seeding and whenever you change your seed Which will change your maps and all of that um, You'll have to leave Diablo to resurrect it and reopen it That's the one unfortunate thing about D2R is that you can't just quit to menu You have to actually exit out of the whole game to kind of refresh these sorts of settings uh, But when you do all of that, then you can click generate and it will generate it additionally there are all of the pieces. I kind of talked about it in that previous video, but again, I will just show you. You can go in and to any tab, you just click enable this tab if you want to enable it, and you can just set whatever sorts of things that you want to set for, oh, I want to change my gambling. I want to change, you know, my Herodric Cube to have some easier recipes. I want to increase the monster, you know, spawn different types. So the different types of monsters that can spawn in areas. I want to change the skills and randomize those. I want there to be more crazy items. Whatever it is, you can enable all of the stuff that you want for your perfect mod. And when you're done, you just press generate. And then when you start up Diablo 2 Resurrected, you'll just come over to the offline tab. And uh, you should be able to just join in and see it right there. And that will then be your mod with all of your different changes and your different weird items and all of the different things that you can have. To know that the mod actually works, when you create a character, you should just open it and have keys. Here I've actually, it's been adjusted slightly, so I start with a cube and that, so you may just do that. But... If it's just normal, then you'll start with uh, just a set of 12 keys as well, in addition. And then you'll know. But, I mean, you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if the mod is working and installed properly or not. But do play around with it here. And then additionally, uh, if you have further questions, you know, you can look at this little guide. Read through, see if there's some stuff. If there's one of the presets that you want to try, here's just kind of some fun little presets. I was playing the Magic Rando. Um, and then this is kind of how the game looks. So this is some monster density increase. Here's uh, changing on the gems. So you can see like plus two to fire skills on armor and helms. 40 IAS on shields for a perfect topaz uh, with the gem randomizer. Here's an eld rune that's got all sorts of wild stuff. Here's some examples of various like 
rare boots that have 50 to 120 magic damage cannot be frozen some fun mods there which I, that's actually kind of cool um another you know interesting gg find right there you got fist of the heavens on it and frost nova is fun uh increased rune drops and unique drops etc and then stuff that's just kind of going through and showing all the different features that do exist on those pages so really a great mod uh super impressed a lot of cool stuff and yeah I'm, I'm very very impressed i hope that this helped if you have any questions or issues feel free to post in the comments below i will take a look um and hopefully mapran as well will be looking through there and can address any issues uh, that people are having and give some advice and help for it so with that being said don't forget to like and subscribe youtube peace everybody